there it. I don't, I don't hey y'all, it's Cindy Cobb with Around the Town in the South, and I am sitting at Jackson Prep in Jackson, Mississippi, and I am in the auditorium with two young adults that I have watched grow up for the last 10 years, and they have amazed me. I've watched them this year, and when I thought about doing a segment on a senior, I had to do Parkman Spikes because his cousin, Tatum Henry, is a sophomore here, and they were in the award-winning Revion Show Choir this year, and I wanted them to tell us some stories about it. I won't, you know, I can't even imagine having the experience to begin with, but to be able to do it with your cousin, what that meant. So thank y'all for joining me. I'm so excited for y'all to be here. Thank you for having us. Listen, y'all blow me away, and I'm so proud for what you've done for yourselves and for the community, Jackson Prep, everything. You've, you've helped put this on the map. So, so you're a senior this year. Yes, ma'am. And you've been involved in the show choir for how long? Uh, for five years since my eighth grade. And then seventh grade, I was in Patriot Singers, which is just like a choral music choir that we run before that. Awesome. And what about you? I've been in it since eighth grade, too. Hey, but with that voice, I'm surprised they didn't recruit <laughs> you in the fifth grade. I should have. No. <laughs> I remember uh, getting a text and... and your mother sending some songs, and I'm thinking, this girl needs to be in Broadway. She's definitely going to be somewhere someday with that voice. Your voice is amazing. I hope so. And there's no doubt <laughs> about it because what That's you've done. Sweet. What has it meant? I know you're going to be a senior. It's got to be bittersweet for you, but what has it meant to spend this year? I know all the years have been special. You've all gotten so many accolades and awards, and it's got to be a sacrifice. It takes a lot of time to do what y'all do. Mm -hmm. So give me a little bit of an example of, if someone asks you, what exactly do you do in the show choir? What do y'all do? You want to take this one or shall yeah, I? Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Revion is a culmination of a lot of things, most of which taking the majority of your time. Um, you know, ever since I was in the eighth grade, my dad always told me that between football and whatever else I had going on for the rest of the year, I always needed something to fill my time because he told me that um, Idleness is the devil's playground, and I had no choice but to take that to heart, and I'm glad I did. But Revion has been the place that I've felt the most comfortable in anything that I've done. It's where I've found all my friends. It's where I feel the most comfortable. It's where I feel like I can be myself and be outgoing, and you know nobody judge me. And if they do, then there's no point in putting up with them anyway. The um, the main thing that Revion has meant to me over, especially this past year with Tatum in it with me, is there's <laughs> there's nothing like being able to share this experience, especially with somebody that you love. Um, we spend <laughs> just countless hours. We spend Too many. <laughs> 15 hours a week minimum around each other, whether that's class periods, rehearsals, whatever it may be. So you you're forced to form a bond that you can't, you can't get away from. And so first impressions are important, yes, but you, know, you, never, you never really are able to understand exactly what somebody is all about until you spend that amount of time with them. And through that, you know, I know Tatum and I have grown you know, eons closer together <laughs> because of that. Definitely. Um, I will say, I'll be honest, I didn't wanna I wasn't really sure about doing Revion at first, just because I didn't know if it would affect, like, I mean, it was my first, like, big year going into high school, so I was, I was just kind of scared about a bunch of different things, and then Parkman was jumping on me, he really want me to do it, and he pulled the senior card on me, <laughs> so I guess I was like, oh, fine, and I did it, and like, Would you look at Would that? Would you look at there? Perfect. Perfect timing. And by the way, we are in the auditorium, and I wanted to have it here because this is where you spend a lot of your life. Yes, ma'am. You, yes. you have two. It's absolutely beautiful in here, and I really wanted to have it in here. So, pardon the interruption, but it was very fitting. <laughs> it was fitting. So, sorry about that, Tom. No, that's fine. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. Um... He kind of, I wouldn't say forced me to do it, but you put, you pushed me pretty, yeah, he forced me to do I it. I forced him to do he it. He forced me to do it. But I really thought that I just, like, I didn't regret it one bit because, like, it's just, it's so incredibly different than when you're, like, in junior high. And it's just, like, the whole energy of the entire 
like, I don't even know how to explain it. Just the whole energy was completely different. It took me, it took me by surprise because I found myself actually really wanting to push harder to like be better and like not be selfish anymore and say like you're tired and you don't want to go anymore. Like I just, I didn't feel that. And getting to do it with Parkman, it was, I mean, like you already said, fit. <laughs> Like you like you already said, like we have, I can't even explain how close we've grown now. Like we we've always been close. Our family is always, it's always been like that. But like I'm the youngest of the family, or I was, and so it was always him and the boys when they were older and stuff. But like this is this is like our thing, and we've spent so much time together, like from school to after school rehearsals listen to each other complaining about going to rehearsals <laughs> then we get into rehearsals and all that goes out the door it does it does go out of the door but like not only that but I also learned if you put yourself in a good mood it's it's smooth sailing and it's, it's a like choice. It, it's it is a choice. it really is I love you have what to you, learn to make it I love what you said earlier we all have fears in our life and I'm pretty sure you walking in thinking okay am I going to to meet the standards? Mm -hmm. Am I going to be able to keep up with what he wants me to do? All of those things had to be going through your mind. But I love what you said. He helped you walk through basically mm -hmm. the fear of this year. And it's been working. That's it. so true. Because everything I said, everything I would talk to him about saying, I, don't, I really don't know about this, or I'm kind of nervous about this, he would just, he would just like tell me a reason not to be and tell me the good side of it. And then I'd walk out of the other side thinking, yeah, let's do this. Like, just a really positive energy for you there, Martin. <laughs> well, and the yes. best thing is, Nick, you're going to graduate. That's going to that's going to be so different for you next year, I know. But guess what? The, you your phone call away. Exactly. And you know you have that support because of what mm -hmm. y'all built. That's awesome. That's that's honestly been my favorite part is getting to play the part of the mentor, because during my sophomore year, I remember I made you know I made my best friend to this day, Easton Sheffield, and he. Yeah, even this year, I'd call him when I'd have problems. I'd be like, dude, I don't know how to work through this. And he'd stay on the phone with me. We'd have 30-minute conversations on how to deal with it. Yeah. It's it's just it's something that doesn't ever go away. Mm -hmm. And the relationship that you, like, I, when I was in ninth grade, the seniors who were in Revion, you know, I always looked up to them. I was always wanting to be like that. And, you know, those are guys that I barely knew. But just through show choir, we've gotten closer. And, you know, they're juniors in college now, and I still call them That's and talk awesome. to them. And I know we talked earlier, just not only the impact you're making as a role model, mm -hmm. people are looking up to you saying, oh my gosh, I want to be able to sing like Tatum. I want to be able to dance like Hartman, because he's already telling me he's a dancer. I'm not a singer. It's not just, <laughs> it's not just within these four walls. I mean, y'all have made an impact in our city, in our community, especially with the awards. And I know y'all got a big award recently. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that and the feeling. I can't even imagine. I watched everything on Facebook and I kept up I with everything they were doing through. <laughs> yeah, and it was just amazing. I'm like, I can't even imagine. So what was that like? What it, What was the, I'm not gonna announce it. I want you to. Okay. That whole, no, let me cover this one. <laughs> that whole competition. What was it? Uh, it was nationals in Chicago. Okay. It was, Actually, it was, the, it was the fame nationals competition. It was crazy. It was. It really was. Well, that the night before that, I, I was so sick. I was so sick, and she so was. the day of the competition, I was like, I felt like I was dying. Like I won't even lie. I felt like I was dead. I was so dehydrated. I was like, I was like fixing to pass out any minute. Like, and we had to get up there and do that. The whole show, I'm just sitting there thinking. I'm, Seventeen and a half minutes. The whole show, I'm dancing. sitting there thinking, I'm about to go down right here, <laughs> <laughs> and like my ballad solo, where I'm sitting there front and center, looking at everybody. I was literally thinking, I really hope I can hit this high note because I'm about to fall on the floor. Oh my god! <laughs> like it was just, it was scary. And then like we got done, and I was like, okay, that was good. I'm still standing. And we were all just like, I mean, it was our last competition for each other. It was emotional, of course, because I mean, last time to perform with our seniors, like. It was really emotional, but we were also thinking, like, we just killed that. Like, we, we loved it. And Walker J got best male soloist, and I got best female soloist, which, I mean, it kind of shocked me because of the state I was in. I mean, I don't know. But, and then we won, which is, it was insane. It was the best feeling ever. And just doing that whole, like, just the whole way the trip was set up, all the time we got to spend together, and just, like, because I know I created a bunch of new bonds in Chicago 
than I had before. And just, I mean, I don't want to sound all soft or anything, but I mean, <laughs> no get, getting to spend it, getting to spend it with my cousin, that was pretty, it was pretty cool, man. Like it really, it really was. I enjoyed it so much and wow. when it just went in with them was different because I've always been watching them on that stage and, and then I started doing it in eighth grade, but I just always remember watching Revion being like, I just, I want to be in that so bad. That's so cool. And being up there is a completely different story. I, it, it was really fun. Your turn. Yeah, tell us as a senior, number one, and two, like she said, the Run bonds the that show. you had, mm -hmm. but knowing that this was your last show, period, but also with Tatum, and, you know, looking back over the last year, I can't even imagine what you felt like when you got that award. And also watching Tatum work through that sickness and mm -hmm. pull together as a team and, and do this, right. I and mean, that had to been remarkable to watch. Oh, it, was, <laughs> it was incredible. I've never, like, Tatum is one and of the... I have the, chills right now just thinking about it. She's one of the most strong-willed people that I know. Like, I, I wouldn't have been able to do that. <laughs> I, I, I would have ta tapped out. <laughs> oh, your aunt. Absolutely would have tapped Nana. out. The woman. But, like she said, it just <laughs> when she's front and center on the ballad, I have the, um, the opportunity to stand <laughs> a row behind her and just kind of watch her go. And that's always my favorite part of the show, just because I have nothing to do but sit there and smile. And <laughs> hearing her sing is just, I mean, she's incredible. I, I can't. You're going to make me blow. Okay. Well, <laughs> the the best part of that entire show, when we all knew that, okay, we killed that. Like, there's there's nothing more that we could have possibly done. And then you came home with the big trophy. Right. Yeah. The, the, the moment that we knew that it was make or break was in the closer. Tatum has one last solo where we're all turned <laughs> yeah. around, squatted down. <laughs> And everybody, like, you're, you're taught on stage that you have a certain attitude, a certain poise, and you never do anything unless mm -hmm. it's choreographed or like a, you know, like a woo. There's a couple there. gray areas. There though. are a couple of gray areas. But you really got to learn them. Like, and we, it's complicated. And we said that we're going to make it a gray area. And while yeah. we're all turned around, we all started screaming and cheering it for Tatum. It took me so off guard because oh, it's like the position I'm in, I'm standing there and I'm looking at everybody and I'm like, I hear people screaming my name, and I was like, I swear that's coming from the stage. And then I look at everybody, and everybody's like screaming at me. I mean, it, it hyped me up, I won't lie, but it was crazy. You were working like, on adrenaline now, weren't you? I mean, you yes, had to have been going through that I don't scene. know how. Yes, I was, mm. it just, that, that's the main thing that you always remember from it. It's just the adrenaline. Mm -hmm. yeah, and after the show was over, we were sitting, you know, we were sitting down. We knew that it was either, you know, it was either us or, or nobody. Mm -hmm. And so my um, my friend Breland Davenport and I went backstage because you know we every, we have all the groups lined up and they give you a, like a it's a record with Fame Chicago on it that you sit there and hold that's like your participation award oh. just like kind of like a congratulations you made it here mm -hmm. and they started calling out trophies one by one and then by the end of it like she said she and Walker J Patterson were up there on stage with us because they got best male and female solo mm -hmm. so Tatum standing right beside me you know we're sitting there holding that. And we hear them call out the second place trophy winner, and it's the group, like a group from Canada, that was that we were up against. And at that point, everybody knew that we had won. My oh. mouth, my mouth was. Her, no, there's there's a picture of it. I'm I'm <laughs> like, I, I I put my head down. I started holding my breath, and Tatum's jaw is like. I'm literally down sitting the floor. there like, and Breland's we, crying over there. Breland, Breland <laughs> like, broke we were all like, there's no way this is it happening. It was, it was in, like Breland goes, Parkman, you have to go get the trophy. I can't walk. <laughs> And I was like, okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the celebration, I can't even imagine. You know, you're going to be telling your kids and your grandkids just the rest of y'all's life. Not just the experience, but y'all getting to be together. Mm -hmm. And I love that, like you said, the mentorship. You, he mentored you. He and, really did. And I say this for a reason. You still have, I know a little cousin, mm -hmm. several little cousins who are looking up to y'all, your role models. And I, I appreciate what y'all do. I think it's wonderful. Like I said, I've watched y'all for the last 10 years, and I've just watched you grow into these phenomenal young adults. And I wish you well. I know you're going to Mississippi State. Woo, woo, go dogs. Go dogs. Go dogs. Um, and, and I'll get to watch mm -hmm. you the next couple of years grow even um, as, a, as a better singer, a better person, as you become the mentor. Because that's what happens. You become a better person when you help people lift people up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So... I always love this question. I'm going to go ahead and ask it. If there's one thing, we're going to start with you, Parkman. Um, and, and, and by the way, I'm in tears over here because it's just, it's just a phenomenal feeling watching two young adults 
look back on such an experience with such love, not just for each other, but for your whole team. I mean, y'all are a team. Yes, ma'am. And the memory you're going to carry this the rest of your life. What you've learned, this has disciplined you to be the people that you are. So if there's one thing that people don't know about you, that I don't know about you, uh, what would it be? Um, I try to... I try to maintain like a really calm, collective, rational, you know, <laughs> mindset, posture, outlook, but I'm extremely impulsive. Oh, really? Very, and very emotional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a good thing, because, you know, as an adult, I cry watching Andy Griffith, which they probably don't know who Andy Griffith is, oh, but we do. Is. I think that's a beautiful thing, and I think as you grow, um, I can't wait to watch what happens with you as you flourish in school you. and with your life. Um, you've, you've definitely been an impact on me, and I'm sure others. So, Tatum, what about you? What's the one thing that uh, you can think of that people don't know about you? Um, I would say, I mean, let's be honest, you kind of stole mine, but... Uh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Growing up with three brothers, I kind of had to learn you're either... You just gotta, you just gotta have some thick skin, and so... I don't know, I kind of walk around these hallways, not necessarily looking the happiest, I'd say. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, that but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she is. Yes. But, <coughs> I mean, not many people know. Like, some people, like, rarely anybody has ever seen me, like, in a state like that. But, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sensitive. I'm a girl, wow. everyone. <laughs> I swear. People treat me like a boy. Because I got three older ones. And then you also have three boy cousins that are doing yeah. like brothers, too. We got so many boys in that, when I tell you. I think it's, I think, I think oh, it's, four. it's three girls to nine guys in oh, terms gosh. of the cousins. Talk about princesses or they're just getting beat up. I know my cousins and I, but I think it's a beautiful thing. And I know this is a bond that I, I hope that your younger siblings have, too, as they grow through this. I hope so, too. And I hope they come up through this um, show choir. Because it really does teach you mm -hmm. how to become I've what learned, you want to become. I've learned so much from Bartman, and that's honestly, we've talked about this so much, and I wish this for our, for his little siblings, for my little cousins. Like, we just talked about how we weren't, we never really hung out when we were younger. Because mm -hmm. like I said, I mean, it was just him and Maddox and all them. Like, we never really hung out. And so, to grow up and me as being the little kid, I was just always wanting to be with them, you know? Aww. But to grow up and like... Him Let's cry, Bartman. I know you got tears coming. <laughs> I want to be strong for this to one. To grow up and like, like find him to be my best friend and just put everything I have into him and him the same for me. <laughs> I don't have any tissue on you because I mean, I'm over here chill. tearing up too. <laughs> just, I mean, it's pretty crazy. Like it, it's the best feeling. Just a beautiful love. bond because that have. you just, you no matter what, you got somebody that'll. No you you always have somebody away. who's got your back. It's no matter what, back. somebody will be there for you in seconds if they can. Like, and it's 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 a really great feeling. Like you never feel like you have nowhere to go or nobody. Because I mean, I always got somewhere to go. You know. Well, I'm thankful because this year and this uh, show choir has has caused that, and I do think that it will go generational on because they're watching you. When mm -hmm. you watch positive people who make changes and impacts, mm -hmm. you want to be like that. And also, I'm sure your parents were going, okay, y'all remember Parkman and Tatum? Let's do that. So you'll have those two. You have a lot to live up to, which I know you will. So I'm going to close this out. But before I do, I want to thank you for, for joining me today. I love showcasing you two. Thank you. Very special nice nice journey. So thank you. I, I love, love you this. and I love your family. But you've got to sing a couple of lines for us. Tatum. On, Tatum. Uh, <coughs> I, when I say I would get this video <coughs> and I would watch, I was completely blown away. I mean, I didn't know you could sing like that. And, I, you know, it's really evolved. And My microphones have evolved, too. I watched, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. But I, I watched a couple of things on Facebook. She actually got to sing Shallow with Hunter Gibson, which that had to have been incredible. I loved it. Mm -hmm. That was that was so fun, actually. And right now it's one of my it favorite was, songs, so I go back and watch yeah. that all the time. So we're going to ask you, will you give us a sing us a couple of lines or whatever you want to sing for us? Do you mind? No, I don't. I'll, All right. I'll just go ahead. Here she goes, okay. Tatum Henry. I'm going to start now. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, wait. Do you want to hear like the song? Like, you want me to put it up to Oh, I, I got it. It's, okay. a, it's in All my right. head. I figured it was. 
Remember those walls I built? Oh, baby, they're tumbling down. It didn't even put up a fight. It didn't even make a sound. I found a way to let you in, but I never really had a doubt. Standing in the light of your halo, I got my angel now. It's like I've been awakened. Every rule I had you breaking. It's a risk that I'm taking. I ain't never gonna shut you out. Everywhere I'm looking now, I'm surrounded by your embrace. Baby, I can feel your halo. I know you're my saving grace. You're everything I need and more. It's written all over your face. Baby, I can see. I pray you won't fade away. Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, I mean, love me some Beyonce. I mean, that, I have chills. That was just or incredible. I can hit it with the, oh, call of my name. <laughs> Please don't. I ain't ready for that. I know, um, I, can, I don't think I can handle that right now. But that, that was amazing. Thank you. Oh, Thank you so I much. I have chills. I mean, I, have you, I know you enjoy it. I, there's already likes and hearts up there. Okay, now we're going to have like cousins. I love it. Sorry. Thank you all so much. I love each and every thank one of you. Thank you for asking. Thank you for having you. us. I'll, I'll continue to watch you. Y'all, we want to thank Jack, Jackson Prep for letting us use the auditorium for this. We will be back, I'm pretty sure. I'll be back to you so. in the next couple of years. And if y'all have a reunion, I'm sure you'll be back for that. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, y'all, we could not do these without our sponsors. We want to thank Village Boutique, Madison, Mississippi cutest um ladies clothing store you've ever seen i know your your parents shop there your, your mother's yeah. oh yeah i shop there <laughs> for gifts also nandy's candies um right now the snowball season oh popping my gosh. there chocolate covered strawberries so good they are divine so good Nothing we and it's a staple Nothing we love nandy's them. candy and the perfect pooch it, i know y'all have a little yorkie and a new puppy <laughs> we I got see. a new uh we got a new dog he's a golden doodle they well, feel like he feels expensive. It, it, like, I feel bad touching him. Like, <laughs> his name is Jerome. Oh, is, my goodness. Jerome. It's Jerome. It's great. And they have a little Yorkie like my Yorkie. My sweet perfect little, pooch for your grooming and your boarding needs. Pop in there. Tell them we sent you. And thank y'all for joining us. I hope you like and share this. We want the whole community to know what kind of students we have, mm -hmm. not just in Jackson Prep, but in the whole state of Mississippi. So, y'all, thank y'all for watching, and we'll see you around the town. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thank you.